Hi folks, um, get a little deeper on the molding planes and the iron and the bevel and the edge, apex of the edge of the irons. There's been a good bit of discussion on my videos about them and um, I've got some opinions of my own and I've absorbed some opinions of other people and it's been really interesting and fun. I appreciate the back and forth with it. I've enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of what I think and what I know, and uh, we can go from there. Let's talk about it. Get down here in the bottom, and let's, let's, let's bounce this around a bit. See if we can learn from each other. This is how I learn. This is how you learn. That's why we're, you're watching this, and that's why I watch other people. Um, so stay tuned. Um, you may find some of this interesting. First thing I'd like you to notice is their bevel down. Bevel down planes, regardless to where the bevel is on this axis, it's always going to be the same as the plane bed was designed for that angle. So regardless to where you change the bevel, this angle is always the same. Let's touch that, a little bit of the construction of the iron itself. Most of these irons in the time were made from wrought iron and then laminated upon the back of the wrought iron is a piece of steel. The steel was harder, harder to construct, more expensive, and um, it's just the way they were done. That's a good thing in a way because it allows you to manipulate the iron itself and move it around with not a lot of effort and without harming the plane. The ones that are hand forged, they're thinner at this end and they taper to larger at this end. The tang, the flag, the back, the face, and the bevel. Okay, if you take a reference surface, file, granite block, sandpaper, anything, and then I grind a bevel here. It is a lot easier to make this apex of this edge meet in a straighter fashion. If you're only grinding on one side and you have a known reference, it's a lot easier to sharpen. And you've got bevel on this side and bevel on this side. This can change, that apex can move. Plus, if you're looking straight on it, that apex has a tendency to wander. So it may be sharper here and duller here. But if you're doing a chisel edge, this is your known reference edge and this is all bevel looking straight on it this known reference is a straight line so if it's dull here it's dull here it's dull here vice versa sharp all the way across when you get these irons and you start out a lot of times when you find them they're pitted and rusted on the back so if we get this surface cleaned up and flat you never touch it again the only time you touch it is when you resharpen and you get a little bit of a burr, you'll feather that burr off and you'll retain your edge again. They're designed to be flat on the back. They're designed to sit flat in the bed, bevel down. If you change this angle by putting a bevel on it, you're literally manipulating the designed angle of the bed and you're changing the way it cuts. And if we look at this complex plane, the bevel here on this side is shorter and steeper than it is on this forward side. Okay? Just as if you took a cylinder and you cut, if you cut the cylinder straight on, you've got a circle. If you cut it at an angle and you look at it straight on, you have an ellipse. So you have to be real careful when you're putting the bevels back on these to return them to the original design and angle of the bevel at different
different points of the plane iron. Um, there's a reason why they're set there and it was in the design when they made it. When I'm flattening the back of the plane, the back of the plane is getting closer to the face of the plane. So you are changing a little bit of this bevel. So if I am flattening and I have to get really extreme with it, I want to bring this bevel further back. First thing I do is I straighten the iron. And this one's in bad shape. It's really easy. Get it straight and square on all four planes. And lightly tap it on an anvil, a piece of metal metal or reference surface. Then I flatten the back, removing the pits because they're all pitted and rusted. Hopefully not too bad. Once I get that reference surface, then I check the iron to the body of the plane and I regrind as needed, readjust the bevel. I use many methods. Um, I have Tormac, Worksharp, grinders, discs, files and when it gets to getting it in close I use sandpaper wrapped on sticks um, I leave the edges rounded and pointed so I can get in nooks and crannies and do as needed um, I have diamond plates I've got water stones any method you choose they're all good whatever you find easy for you but there again I'm, my school of thought is to get that reference surface on the back, get it flat, keep it where it's supposed to be in the way it was designed when the manufacturer made it. My humble opinion, all comments are welcome. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your views. Hope to see you again.